the 19th century, a phenomenon occurred called spiritualism. Spiritualism was a religious movement about the rising curiosity of communicating between the living and the dead. In 1897, there were 8 million followers of spiritualism, which were mostly from middle to upper class. Most followers converted to this movement by attending a seance conducted by a medium. There were many famous people who attended seances, for example, Harry Houdini, Mary Todd Lincoln, and Sarah Winchester. There were also many mediums who became famous during this time, like the Fox Sisters, Cora Hatch, and Emma Britton. But the most interesting story I found was about a woman named Florence Cook, who was also known as Katie King. From a young age, Florence, who was called Flory, could see and hear spirits. She had many experiences that would lead her into the direction of seances. Florence formed a group called the Hackney Circle, named after the town she resided in. This circle would perform seances in the home weekly and included her two sisters, her parents, and her maid, who were all mediums. But the reason Florence became famous is because she was able to form into a full spirit materialization. She was the first British medium to do so. What's intriguing about this story is that the full form spirit she manifested into had a name, and that name was Katie King. Katie King had a personality all of her own. She supposedly was the daughter of John King, a wild buccaneer. Katie got around though, because before she attached herself to Florence Cook, she made appearances at other seances, like that of the Davenport brothers. Her voice, according to reports, was high-pitched and scratchy, like that of nails down a chalkboard. She would sit on people's laps and flirt with the sitters, who were also known as participants. When she connected with Florence for the first time, she promised three years to her. So, for the next three years, Miss Cook embodied Katie King at every single seance. Now, of course, people were skeptical because of the way she would turn into Katie King. Flory would use what's called a spirit cabinet. She would sit in this cabinet covered in black cloth and be bound by a rope around her neck, wrists, and waist. Her hands would also be tied together. The cabinet itself was covered by a curtain. The sitters in the room would create the proper seance mood. The curtain would open every now and then to show that she was still in the cabinet unconscious channeling the spirit. About 30 minutes in, the curtain would open and a figure dressed all in white would emerge. This was Katie King. She would walk around and chat with the people, all while being completely solid. This spirit was believed to be made up of ectoplasm, a supernatural viscous substance exuding from the medium. But here's where the skepticism started. A man named William Volkman wasn't buying what Florence was selling. He thought that they, Florence and Katie, looked exactly alike. In anger, he grabbed the spirit by the wrist, announcing that she was Florence in disguise. A fight ensued, scratches were made, and eventually Katie returned to the cabinet. When the people in the room rushed to check on Miss Cook, she was still tied up and covered in black, but her clothes were in disarray. Supposedly, she never left the cabinet. After this incident, Florence wanted to preserve her reputation. She wanted to prove that she was actually manifesting into Katie King. She sought the help of a scientist named Sir William Crooks, who agreed to investigate her through private seances. In the very first seance that William attended, Katie appeared and led him back to where Florence was. He claims that she was tied and unconscious in the cabinet while he and Katie stood together looking over her. She had also nailed her hair to the floor. He continues to state that he checked to make sure that the girl covered in black was indeed Florence. Mr. Crooks decided to test her a little bit further by taking photographs. He took 55 photographs of the two together. In one photograph, Crooks is walking arm in arm with Katie. In another photograph, she has her hand upon his shoulder. Crooks was called out numerous times for his photos not being authentic but he maintained that his photos were genuine up until his death in 1919. Here is his exact quote from the History of Spiritualism written by Arthur Conan Doyle. Indeed, I do not believe that she could carry on a deception if she were to try. And if she did, she would certainly be found out very quickly, for such a line of action is altogether foreign to her nature. He would declare this as well. 
It is quite true that a connection has been set up between this world and the next. At the end of three years, Katie left Florence to never return to her again. Miss Cook got married, becoming Miss Corner, and left mediumship for six years. When she decided to come back, she manifested into a new spirit called Marie. And again, skepticism returned, but this time from a man named George Stilwell. At one of the seances, he grabbed the spirit Marie and held onto her while another person ran over to the cabinet and moved the curtain. Florence was not in there this time. This caused her reputation to be put into question once again. Were they the same person? More than likely. Then who was the girl in the cabinet when she was turning into Katie? Was it one of her sisters, her mother, the maid? And was Dr. Crooks in love with Florence as rumors stated and that's why he says she passed with flying colors? So many questions that will probably never get answered to such a complicated story. Unfortunately, Florence's last seance was in 1899 and she died in 1904. Even after her death, Dr. Crooks always defended Florence. He said this about her. We trust that the certain belief that our loved ones, when they have passed over, are still watching over us, a belief which owes so much of its certainty to the mediumship of Miss Corner or Florence Cook, as she will always be in our memory and console those who are left behind. Dr. William Crooks went on to discover thallium and work with vacuums which led to the discovery of cathode x-ray tubes. Up until his death though, he always had to defend his position about investigating Florence. And what about Katie King? Well, she reappeared at another seance in 1903 with Dr. Glenn Hamilton and in Rome in 1974. So who was Katie King? Was she a real spirit who liked to flirt with the living? or a made-up spirit who just made someone like Florence famous. My belief is, when you mix the living and the dead, the expectation and the hope makes it all believable. What do you believe?